G'day guys and welcome to me lab. Now this is our eighth installment in our Super Bogan Brothers Godot 4 Platformer tutorial series and we're just going to build on our last one. So in our last um, lesson we created our collectible coins. In this lesson we are going to add a sound effect so when we collect them it sounds like it does in Mario and we're also going to create a little GUI so we can show how many coins we have collected. So let's do a quick look of our WWSS and then we'll get into Godot. We're going to add a GUI to track the number of coins coins we collect um, and we're also going to add that classic Mario sound. Why? Well of course to keep mimicking Super Mario Brothers and also just to make it a little bit more interesting. The skills you're going to need for this one where well, you're going to have to be able to understand and apply how to add nodes, how to edit scripts and things but we're going to go through it step by step. And by the end of this lesson, you will have a way to track the number of coins your player gets, as well as that great Mario sound playing for you. So here we are in our project. Uh, let's do a quick play to make sure we know where we are all at. So let's hit play. There is our thing. We've got our toads that fall off, our toads that don't fall off. We've got our coins we can collect, a pitfall we can die in. We come back to life, it restarts the scene. All right, we're gonna add a GUI to the top of that as well as a sound effect for when we uh, collect those coins. So let's have a look at where we're at. So I think the first thing we're gonna to wanna to do is create somewhere we can store information such as how many coins has our player collected. We're also gonna to wanna to store things like how many lives does our player have and all that as we get further on. But just for now, we wanna focus on those coins. So get your script view up and then go file new script and we're gonna make a new script called global global.gd. In this script, global.gd, we don't want to do very much at all. We want to delete all of that and we're just going to put in here the, this variable. So variable total coins equals zero. Let's actually just um, zoom in a bit to make that easier to see. All right, so for our global script, all we want to do is keep that extends node and then we're going to go var total coins equals zero. That's it. So just save that as it is. That's all we need to do there. We're going to add that to our auto load later on, but let's keep on rolling. So the next thing we want to do is look at our coin script. So here's our coin script that we were working on last time. If you remember, we don't do anything in all of this. We can just get rid of all that just to make it cleaner on the screen. So the only thing we're doing in here is we've got this on interaction body entered. If body is in group player, Q free. So what we're saying is if we show our coin at the same time, um, here is our coins node, so root node coin, interaction area 2D, so on interaction body entered. So um, when we enter um, this space, we're gonna say, well, if the body that enters it is in our player group, delete the coin. We're not gonna do that anymore. We're gonna change it just because we wanna get the sound effect and everything working. So I think maybe what we should do here is perhaps um, add in our sound effect. So if you're doing this from the OneNote, it should be just down below. If you're doing this through YouTube, you can grab it from the GitHub. You can download the entire lessons repository that way. Um, so just find your coin script and drag that on into your um, file explorer in Godot and it should appear there like mine just has now. So in our um, in our coin uh, nodes here, click on interaction and click on add new node. We're going to add in an audio stream player 2D just like that and we're going to use that to play our sound. So coin mp3, if I click on inspector over here, see we've got our audio stream player and stream is empty. We're just going to drag that coin.mp3 into that slot. So now when we trigger this audio stream player, it's going to play that sound that we just put in there. All right, excellent. Um, what should we do next? I think we should maybe finish working on the, uh, that sound. So how we can do that is I think we're going to want to have a variable in here to check um, whether or not the coin has been collected. So var is collected equals false. So when we start off, it's, it's not been collected yet, right? But down in this one, we're going to change it. So now we're going to say, um, uh, what do we want to say? Oh, hang on, we'll do it this way. So if body is in group player uh, and not is collected, uh, one day I'll learn to type is uh, not is collected like that. Okay, excellent. What are we gonna do instead? So if our, um, it's a player and the coin hasn't yet been collected, we're gonna change it so is collected 
equals true. Uh, and I think then we want to run that or play that animation player. So, uh, sorry, audio stream player. So the way we can do that, we can type it out or you can just grab it from your node list over there, drag it across and drop it. And that gives you the exact path you need. And then I just want to go dot play like that. Um, and then instead of queuing free, we're going to hide um, the, we're going to hide the coin. So just double checking if bodies and groovies go in different direction. Yep, that looks right. So I'm just going to save that and just have a try of it to see if when we jump in, we collect those, we get those sounds. Perfect. All right, so that is our coin sound out of the way. Uh, let's now look at our GUI layer. So we're going to do this by creating a new scene. So you come up to the top here and we click on the plus sign and it starts with uh, just calling it empty. We want to do this based on a canvas layer. So click on other node, start typing in canvas layer. There's the one we want. And I'm going to call this coin GUI just to help me keep track of things. Now, in our coin GUI, we want to add a child of that canvas layer. Um, we want it to be a label. There we go, so a coin GUI and it has a label. So now we're gonna need to also give it a script. So you click on the root node, coin GUI, you click on the add script, coin GUI is what we wanna call it, click create. Let's make some space, all right. So we're extending our canvas layer, perfect. Um, what are we gonna put in here? Well, we wanna run uh, one simple step, and that is this one here. So in our function process that we're gonna make, our label, which is this one here, um, we want the text of that label to be coins, and then we want to show what our global total coins is. All right, that's giving us an error at the moment because we haven't, um, created the auto load for our global script. So don't worry too much about that. We're gonna save that as coin So the last little bit of code we need to do is back in our coin script. So here we are, this is the function we set up before and it was working fine, we could test it, but now that we've added, or we wanna add in the how it adds to coins, anyway, we had to leave this bit out until now. So we just wanna add in uh, this line here. So global.totalcoins plus one. Now again, this is in red because we haven't set up that global script yet. So global.totalcoins plus one. So that line there just says that when the body comes in, if the coin hasn't been collected, we add one to this global variable called total coins. So let's save that. And now we need to add our uh, global script to be a, um, an auto loaded script. All right, so last thing, or last two things actually come to think of it. Let's do one of those first. So we've saved our coin GUI. We actually need to put that in our world. So click back to your world scene, click on your 2D just so you can see what's going on. And we're gonna drag our coin GUI scene into our world. So you find it in our file explorer on our side here, right? So coin GUI dot scene. And I'm just gonna drag it in here and drop right. it. Now we need to sort out that global script stuff. So we go project, project settings. Now auto load is the tab you want up the top. And then you click on this little file looking thing here. And we're gonna go find our global dot GD. We're gonna click on that. We're gonna click open. And then we're gonna click add and close. Looks like we're ready to give this a test. So here we go, press play. You've got up in the top corner there, you can see it says coins zero. Now hopefully when I jump, we're gonna hear the coin sound and we're gonna see that change. Yep. Oops, there we go. So it's working perfectly. We have done it. Good work guys. Let's have a look at our must may might so you don't forget anything. And then we will wrap this up. All right, so what you must get done is you must add that audio stream player to the coin script and, and the logic for that. You've got to add the uh, the coin GUI um, scene and its script. Um, so there's a few things to do. You've also got to add a global script and, and add that as an auto load. So there's lots of little tasks to do. They're not big, but they add up. Um, what you may like to do is start expanding your world further. So get some more um, levels and platforms and bricks and pitfalls and things like that. So remember with your pitfalls, you'll need to extend your uh, area 2D that works to kill things off that fall in there. And what you might like to do is start thinking about how we're going to add that second level because that's what we're doing next lesson. How do we add another level and how do we transition between them and make sure we keep all of our coins and things? You should now have a coin tracker in the top left corner and the coin sound playing when you grab a coin. Next time, it's all about a new level and how to transition between the levels. The quote I'd like to leave you with this week is by Albert Camus, and it is, we are all 
special cases. Thanks and I'll see you next time.